Hey guys, welcome back. All right, today I wanted to do kind of an updated video on my current setup because I did switch journals and just kind of like a chit chat video of what's going on lately. Um, some new things or not new things that are just happening and um, yeah, just catch up with you guys so you guys kind of know what's going on. I know I've been kind of sporadic in my video making, and uh, but I did start vlogging, and so that's been really nice. So if you don't follow me on my blog, you can check it out if you want. It's girlandquill.com, and I've been doing things that I don't necessarily want to do a video on, and maybe I just want to get a little bit more elaborate on, and I usually share a lot of photos about my journals and things like that there. So, um, currently, as you can see, I am in my traveler's notebook again, the camel one. And I just wanted to kind of show you, because I did slim it down before, I think, um, even at the beginning of this year, I kind of started bulking it up. I had a lot of things in there. I wanted to keep a lot of photos and stickers and all of that. And since I had been using some non-traveler's notebook journals, I just felt this sense of wanting to simplify again, and I did so after I moved back in here. And right now you can see that the bookmark um, situation hasn't changed, it's still the same coin. I did change the charm from the skeleton key that I did have before to just a little Tim Holtz um, metal piece that says Wander. And uh, same pen, same band, that hasn't changed. And I do still have the one, two, and three um, Traveler's Notebook brass clips here. I did take out some of the photos because I did have an extra business card holder that I took out. So I did slim down the photos that I was carrying and just have the one business pocket now and one zip pocket still. I did slim down the inside here too so I took out a lot of those die cuts that I wasn't using and changed them out for ones that I just felt like were more fitting of my current mood. I kept the mushroom st uh, stamps in there because they're just too beautiful. I did keep the same journal card quote but I did take out a lot of those stickers and uh, just kind of switch them out so I'm rotating through my stash and not really, um, you know, letting things go to waste or go unused. I have this craft text folder that I made. I slimmed this down as well, so I took out a lot of the photos that I originally had in here that I used for inspiration. And now here I keep just some clear Traveler's Notebook uh, sticky pockets some stamps that I put onto like tracing paper so to use as clear elements, some nice different types of like cardstock and papers that I can use as tip-ins. I slimmed down my inspiration photos to just three sheets to carry around and then some more tissue paper, some sticky tabs by Traveler's Notebook and then the two grid paper sheets that I typically use for clear inserts to use as like a writing guide. But currently because I'm not using a traveler's notebook insert, I just kind of have them slipped in that pocket just ready to go. I changed them out from the two older ones that were just looking so too smudgy. And um, so that's in there. Um, as you can see, I do have a new insert, uh, which ooh, I have not numbered yet. This is going to be, um, what number is this? So this is actually journal number 88 now because this is the previous journal that I've been using, which is one of the Pendleton notebooks. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, I had mentioned that, or you would have seen that this was actually a pack of three. Well, I didn't like the covers of the other two. I did like the cover of this one, but the other two were a little too dark and not in the color schemes that I usually like. So I actually cut them down to fit my traveler's notebook. So as you can see, um, you know, it's kind of cut off. I did cut it to the insert size and then I covered it with 
uh, paper from one of my Flow Book for Paper Lovers um, paper packs. And I just chose two of my favorites. So here's a different one that will be the next insert. So as you can see, it didn't, it doesn't go all the way down. So I just kind of used spare pieces that kind of match the design and um, covered the back. So there's that, kind of like a bird theme. The back pocket of the craft text uh, folder that I made doesn't really have anything, but I do keep some stamps there. Um, same contents here of the back of that zip pocket did change around some things. This I actually do keep some like die cuts in there, slipped in that pocket, and then the same uh, little writing board to kind of keep it as a flat surface for stamping. And that's it. So this was just kind of some of the stuff that I took out. So photos, an extra stencil that I was carrying, a little brochure from Traveler's Notebook Company, and then not shown are just all the stickers that I pulled out. So that's what's going on in my current setup here. Um, I did switch out of my Superior Labor pen roll or pen organizer. And I started carrying around just a couple things with my journal when I'm around the house. And that is this separate uh, rollerball pen by Liberty. I'm not usually a rollerball pen person, nor am I usually a person that likes a really fine tip, but this one writes really well. It flows really well. The pen is has got a really nice weight to it, so it just kind of feels like the fountain pen, which I really like. And it came with one of, it came refilled already, so I'm just using it up in these inserts until it runs out, and then I'll just kind of let it sit until I decide if I'm going to get a refill for it. Um, that was kind of like in a grab bag, so that's the reason why I have it. And then aside from using that, and then this Uniball pen that I usually use for my journaling, I am using my Lamy pen, and it's got the Diamine Graphite ink sample, which I'm trying to use up, so that's the reason why I have that. So I'm using up supplies, guys. I'm really, really happy with that. Um, not buying things in the past few months has really just allowed me to use my stuff so it's not sitting around gathering dust and, you know, in the end, it's just not my money wasted. Do you know what I mean? Because I just don't want to be a person that uh, spends money on all this supplies and then never use it. So that's that's what's going on there. And then the bigger kind of carry-all, if I go, say, to the beach or something, um, I switched to my mod case because I noticed that I really wasn't using it a lot. And because I'm not traveling lately, which was one of the big reasons why I wanted to get this was for traveling, I didn't want it to just sit around. Once again, I wanted to use my stuff. So I kind of put all my essentials in here. I've got some washi cards, some stamps here, watercolor paper cut down, and then my reusable utensils are right here. This is a little snap closure with some black scissors for cutting washi. I've got my watercolor palette right here. Lip balm, I always have lip balm in here. My traveler's notebook pencil. Um, nothing in this pocket here. So I just kind of keep that empty. And then I've got my one of my favorite midliner colors right there. A pencil, which to keep it from smearing, I actually took one of my eyebrow pencil caps um, that ran out and just used it as a little pencil cover. So that works out perfectly. It just kind of stays right there and I don't have to worry about it marking the leather. Headphones spare clip and then in here I have a sharpener an eraser and a glue stick so that's all in there and then I think I have a packet of tea packet of tea and then flipping in the back here since if this is just a kit that I'm grabbing to go I have just a little 
cut up linen for swiping my pen brush in. Some washi cards, nothing back here, but I do have a scale, um, a water brush, another fountain pen, my favorite red Muji pen, a Fabric Castell bold tip um, marker, and a crappy pen, you know, for letting people borrow it. So that is everything that's in this kit. And so this is just kind of what I will grab if I just wanna do more elaborate journaling, say sitting on the sofa, or if I want to take to a cafe. And this way I'm kind of ensuring that I'm just using it because it is such a nice case and I am not using it as much as I'd like to. So that's the setup for that. And then Lately, I've just kind of been on a junk journal kick, and I have also been kind of re retaking the inventory of what I have left to use up and um, what I want to do with the remaining blank notebooks that I have. Most of them are going to be this kind of pocket size, so the, you know, field notes, those small Kihir Moleskine notebooks. So I think I will keep those as is. Um, I find that I really like writing stories in them, like creative writing. So I'm not going to use those for journaling. Those will stay um, blank until I just want to pull them out to uh, use for creative writing. But I do have this uh, Batman Moleskin one that I got from a uh, grab bag like way earlier this year um, before I just kind of stopped buying things and I love Batman so that's why I have it um, that's why I grabbed this grab bag and as you can see it's just blank note paper which I will really enjoy using because I'm just I'm kind of over the whole line paper thing which wasn't my favorite to begin with so I will be using this one soon I think after I am done using these two Pendleton notebooks that I recovered so this one is kind of on the future projection. And then I also, I also thought that I really wanted to use this notebook for more than just my health journal. In the past few months, I kind of stopped uh, really using it as a health journal, but I love the leather so much and I just, I really wanted to start using it. Just kind of, it's still almost the size of a traveler's notebook, the same kind of concept. But because it is a very unique notebook size, it wasn't going to be something that I could find notebooks for easily. So what I decided to do was just make a bunch of, um, junk journal inserts for it, like I did for my traveler's notebook. Um, so that way I've got a bunch of just inserts ready to go for the traveler's notebook. And then when I feel the need to switch to this size, which I can show you based on this insert, just the size difference. I have it ready to go, which I'm really happy about. This actually let me use a lot of random papers I was holding on to. It forced me to just go through my flow books uh, to use up some of those papers. And this actually cleared out quite a bit of my paper stack, which was really, really nice. So right now in here, I just have three signatures. Um, I think I'll maybe do a separate flip through video for you guys if you guys are interested in seeing it, but three or four, I think there's four signatures in here. Yeah, and so that was really, really fun. I just, I felt the need to want to make a junk journal, but I didn't want it to be too overthought, if that makes sense. Like sometimes when I make journals, I want them to be like a certain theme, a certain color, you know, I didn't really want to think about it. I just wanted to make some. So I threw together just papers that kind of look like they would coordinate and just put them together. So that was just like a fun little afternoon project and it really worked out, gave this journal a purpose. So for when I do want to use it, that'll be ready. And now I'm excited to, to use this because 
once I just kind of, once I was over the whole health journal thing, um, and maybe I'll get into those reasons for that later, um, I just, I didn't want to use it, but I do love the leather, so this is giving me a reason to go back to it, which I'm really happy about. And then this is another junk journal that I threw together. I really loved the cover of this book that I had thrifted a while back. And I'm not going to do a flip through of like a thorough one either, but it was just the same day where I was just making those inserts. I just wanted to use up a bunch of papers and I did. It just, it really made me look through my paper stash and clear out a bunch of things. And that is now another junk journal that I can use for the future. Um, and on that note, a lot of the junk journals that you've seen me post uh, on my channel, I haven't yet used, but those will definitely be in the future um, in my journal lineup, just because it just looks like the rest of this 2017 is going to be me using up my things. And so far I've made great progress and I think, I think some people are getting the wrong impression like I'm forcing myself and I really don't want to do this, but I do. And so in me wanting to do it, I am actually enjoying it too because it's allowing me to revisit journaling as an act and not necessarily an aesthetic because I think um, if that does if that makes sense at all um, because I think with traveler's notebooks there's like you know it's like the person who has like the designer bag when you have a traveler's notebook it's cool you know it's it's fun to take pictures with there's like a whole following with it and all of that but in going back to say moleskin notebooks and just you know just regular journals that you see at Barnes and Noble it just takes you back to just the simplicity of writing which I really really enjoy because that's what we all started with we didn't all have traveler's notebooks and Hobonichi's when we were growing up all of us just had those random journals with you know <laughs> crappy paper and they just had beautiful covers that spoke to us and that's why we picked them to write in. And I wrote a whole blog post about that, um, about what I learned about uh, journaling and a moleskin again. So you can go check that out. But um, it's it's been really fun to just kind of rediscover what pens work with what kind of paper. And so, I, I don't want you guys to get the impression that like I'm forcing myself just to do this when I can just give them away. I can't because all my friends are either in Hobonichi's or Traveler's Notebooks. So nobody's interested in like journals outside of, you know, that. And I personally just didn't want to donate them either. I wanted to use them. So um, I hope that kind of clears things up because I'm not, <laughs> I'm not like unhappy with my choices here. So that's what's going on with my current journal situation. And, oh, one more thing. I know this is gonna be a long video, but I'm just really excited about this cool box that I found, um, that I thrifted. Cause it looks kind of like the classic key boxes that you see on like, say the Bomb Kuchin site. And it's actually made in Tokyo. It actually says right here. Um, Maruzan, Maruzan Company, LTD, Tokyo. And I love that it's just got this like little, uh, what do you call these? These little plates. And then it's got this block right here. And then it did come with like a bunch of index cards. Here, I'll show you some of them. It came with like index dividers and then a bunch of these um, cards. And it pretty much was like, it filled this whole pocket right here. So I've got really, really fun cards to play with and journal and collage with but that's what it looks like on the inside it's very deep and I love it it's very classic-y like but without the classic-y cost which you know one day I might get in the future so I'm not sure if I want to take out this wood piece and then just kind of make a floating tray on the inside so to kind of copy the classic-y look and then maybe put like a clip here not sure 
or I might just keep it as is. But I'm having fun imagining how I'm going to doctor it up. Okay, that's what's going on lately. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are having fun in your own journals. And I'm just so happy to be back in the Traveler's Notebook, even if it's temporary. So thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you so much for subscribing and liking my videos. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.